Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Custom Car Bo- <coughs> Oh, wow. <coughs> okay. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Custom Car Reviews. I'm Leander, and today we're taking a look at this 1993 Ford Mondeo BTCC race car on an XMOD Evolution chassis. This is a custom body, and was not an OEM body that you could buy from a store. Throwing the car up on the turntable, it's painted a nice dark blue, similarly to the GR86 from a previous video. While not the known blue from the BTCC car, there are sightings on Google of a dark blue one ran during this time. Coated in 2K finished first clear coat and detailed using a variety of paint pens and Cricut vinyl. And here is the chassis. This specific chassis is an XMODS Evolution set at a 94mm narrow configuration using the Honda Civic front clip. It will be running four AAA batteries and a 1S LiPo plugged into the receiver to fuel the steering servo. It has a top speed of 20km an hour from its high speed gear ratio. we are showing off today is a collection of files that represent this kit that you see here in the video. What you get in this kit is one body, a set of dummy wheels, a dummy chassis that matches the length of the chassis, in pre-clipped and non-pre-clipped format, as well as some clips that fit a Mini-Z and an X-Mod. If you don't have any hardware at home, you can simply just use the pre-clipped format You'd be able to slide the body right on to the little ledges that it has, throw your dummy wheels on it, and there you go. Or, if you're someone that already owns X-Mods and Mini-Zs and you got plenty of screws lying around, you can throw on the custom height clips that come along with it. This will allow you to choose the right height that you wish, or even throw it on your own X-Mod or Mini-Z. That's usually the best way to enjoy these. But, if you're feeling something more than just the standard wheels that come along with it, you can either buy or make additional wheels that go on it. The MR wheels for Mini-Zs tend to go on the best, but you can also screw on a set of X-Mod or Mini-Z all-wheel drive wheels to go along with it. Either way, you can control how customized your kit can get. So, take a look at the link, or go to Colts 3 d and find me, Leander98, up there. You'll see that my current thumbnail is of Gina. Oh, cones. Oh, come on, let's not start this again.
well. Oh, come on! Oh, no! Oh, come on! We sniped that corner twice in a row now! Now, only we can get the... Oh, heavens! Come on! There are many elements of a track. Sometimes it's few, sometimes it's many. Again? I like it Come all. on. Oh yeah. Oh no. Here we go. Oh, again. Come on. And that's it. Oh man, I think we had some good laughs in there. Looks good. It's a little dark. Nice. All right, now that we've finished up this last one around the track, Let's take a look at how it did. As we see here, we got a time of 5.036, which we have done on lap 34, so incredibly late into the run, which is amazing considering that normally the cars tend to heat up pretty hot during these, so we must have had one Hail Mary through that chicane. However, with that being said, from the last episode that we had with the Green Mondeo, the main difference with this Mondeo is that we have a rear spoiler, which shouldn't help with the understeer that this car produces, but we also have a millimeter lower ride height. At least, I think it's a millimeter. might be two. Either way, this car sits a lot lower than the green Mondeo, making it for the BTCC setup. So, with that ride height reduction, we are able to drop the time by 0.2 seconds. Which is pretty impressive. It doesn't sound like much, but when your laps are only 5 seconds, 0.2 is a lot. So we'll have to see how that compares. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next one. One last thing before we close here on this video. If you like the cars that you saw in this video, take a look at the link down in the description. It'll take you to my Cults 3D page where you can download the STL file for just $1. That $1 will get you a dummy chassis and the body in resin printing and FDM plastic printing as well. This way, so that you can print it whether or not you have a plastic printer that you want to use for racing, or maybe you got a resin printer that you want to use extra detail for. Either way, your taste, you can download the car that you saw in this video today on my Cults 3D page that's down in the link in the description below. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. And if you're new, subscribe for more RC driving content here. That's quite a different few different things that we do on this channel here, so I apologize if it's never one exact thing. Until next time, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.
Oh, cones. Oh, come on. Let's not start this again. Oh, too slow. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Oh, come on. We sniped that corner twice in a row now. Now, only we can get the... Oh, heavens. Come on. Again, come on. Oh yeah, oh no! Oh, again, come on. And that's it. Oh man, I think we had some good laps in there. Looks good. It's a little dark. Nice.